Welcome! In this tutorial, we'll take a closer look at the Fruity Keyboard Controller in FL Studio. The keyboard controller allows automation of plugin parameters via note input, also known as keyboard tracking. In this first example, the keyboard controller is linked to the filter cutoff position and flex. Each time keyboard controller receives a note, the value changes. So let's find out, how would you go about creating automation like this? First, we'll link the controller to the parameter that needs automation. Right-click the parameter and select Link to Controller. The keyboard controller will show up in this list on the Link to Controller dialog. Here, you can choose Note or Velocity as a controller. Note means that every unique note sends a specific value to the plugin. Velocity will instead automate the parameter with the velocity. We'll go with Note here. See how the master filter knob changes position when I send notes to the plugin? If I play any outside the range indicated by the highlighted keys on keyboard controller, Flex does nothing. You can shrink or extend this range by clicking in the note name area at the left or right edge of the range and then dragging left or right. Now I can go below or above my previous range, but those new notes all set the knob to the same value. To evenly distribute new values after a range change, click on Auto Map. Auto Map white and black keys will spread output values across all keys in the new range. White keys only will use only the white keys and leave the black keys at default setting. The interpolate options will smooth out the values you've set for all notes or white keys across your range. You can select which note you're editing by either clicking it on the keyboard or clicking and dragging up or down on the current note display. Change the value slider to edit the value the linked plugin receives when that note is played in keyboard controller. Notice how the filter now dips every time I hit C-sharp 6. This is particularly useful for automating Grossbeat's slot selection. Right-click the slots on Grossbeat and link the controller to it. Now it's just a matter of making custom value adjustments to make the slots you need playable on your keyboard or from inside the project. Nice. Let's talk about the note off value. This is the value the linked control will return to every time a note is released. Set it with the slider next to it. To change how fast this happens, go to the smoothing section and move the release slider. Down as instant, up applies up to one second of smoothing. The attack slider on the other hand sets the speed at which output values can change from one to the next. The sliders can be linked to move in tandem here. Cool! That's all you need to know to get started using keyboard controller in your own creations. So happy automating! Please check out the video information for segments, links to the keyboard controller manual page, and the projects I used here. Mm -hmm.